Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video and either welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I am a nursing student. So I wanted to just make a fun and quick video for today. I have a lot of work to do because I'm in anatomy and it's kicking my butt, but I did wanna make just a short and cute video. I love the what's in my bag videos. So I figured that I would do a what's in my bag nursing school edition. So I am a first year nursing student and I have not started clinicals yet. I actually start clinicals next year. So my bag is not like hospital friendly. I actually just got this off of Amazon not that long ago. I will go ahead and put a link in the description, but I love this bag. It's cute, it's faux leather, and it's not very expensive. It's actually a laptop bag. So it's kind of like half of a briefcase and half of a purse, but it fits everything that I need. I've been on this journey with school for a few years now. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I work full time and I've been going to school. I was taking my prereqs for nursing school just one at a time. So I would have to work all day and then run to community college and take classes in the evening. So for the last few years, I've actually had just like a regular Jansport book bag, but I'm a grown woman and I work in an office and I have a full-time job. So even though the book bag was very convenient for me, it didn't really match my outfits. It was kind of weird that I was this grown woman in heels walking around with the book bag. So I wanted to get something that was more mature and looked nice, but was still functional and big enough to fit all of my stuff. So I found this bag on Amazon and I will put a link to the bag in the description. It is a laptop bag. It can hold a, I think 15.6 or 15.8 laptop. I have a, um, I have an HP laptop and it's a 15.6 screen. So I will go ahead and put a link to this bag in the description. This video is not sponsored or anything. I just thought it'd be fun to make a what's in my bag video. So what I love about this bag is the look of it and the feel of it. It is a faux leather design. So it actually looks and feels pretty much like leather, but one, it's affordable and two, it is animal friendly. No animals were harmed to make this bag. Um, it has a really cute design and it comes in multiple colors. I just like the black because I felt like it would go with anything. And then first off, this bag has a zipper so you can zip it closed or zip it open which I love about it and I love that it has multiple compartments so if you want to see the inside of the bag you can click on the link but pretty much there is a separate compartment for your laptop if you have a tablet which I do you can put your tablet in there you can put your chargers in there and it's just huge so the first thing in my little compartment I have my HP pavilion so I do take my laptop to campus and to class just because it's, I don't know, I just like having it. I do have a tablet that I got recently, but before my tablet, I would take all of my notes on my laptop. I like being paperless just because it's easier. And then of course I need to have my charger. So school, there are a bunch of chargers. So my laptop never dies. That's something I'm always nervous about, all of my electronics dying. So I do keep my charger in there at all times. And then on the other side of the bag, there is a compartment for a tablet. So if you have a tablet, you can fit both in there at the same time. I got my tablet about two months ago at the beginning of the semester when I knew I was going to be starting A&P because I've seen so many videos about how the tablet can be used to take notes. And so far, I love it. I have my background. I have a email actually from school. I have my background, which is just my husband and I on our anniversary this year. Um, and yeah, I want to make a separate video on how I take notes in A&P, but it's just been so stressful and hectic that I really haven't had time to do that. But I think that a tablet is a really good investment for school if you're doing nursing school or med school. You definitely don't need to invest in a tablet for school, but if you have the means and if you're able to afford it, I think that it's beneficial just because you can not have to deal with carrying papers around and you can actually take notes right on the PowerPoint in real time. So I think that the tablet's pretty cool and I do plan to make a video on how I take notes and how I study for anatomy and physiology using the tablet and using good notes. So I actually have a cute little pencil pouch um, that I keep all of my tablet accessories in. I did get the Apple Pencil. Yeah, the Apple Pencil. I always call it the iPen or the iPencil, but it's the Apple Pencil. I do have the first generation Apple Pencil and it's really helpful to take notes. I take notes as if I'm writing on a piece of paper and it's just more convenient to have it. And I do have like a cute little pencil pouch 
but it's not in my bag right now. It's actually upstairs in our office because I, I, you know, needed to charge my stuff. But in that little pencil pouch, I do keep a charger for my tablet and for my pencil. And then I do keep like an extra um, tip because the tip of the pencil can come off. And I'm always nervous that it's just gonna burn out one day while I'm in class. So I just have my accessories in that bag and it fits in my purse. And then of course I do have my AirPods. So I use it for my tablet and for my iPhone. My laptop is not an Apple product, so I don't use it for that, but I keep it in my purse. And then I have lip liner. I use MAC Chestnut, but it's just, it has nothing to do with school, but I obviously just have lip gloss or lipstick. So next I have my charger for my phone. And obviously it's a charger for my phone. I can also charge my tablet and my AirPods, but I have a super long one that I got from Amazon. So if I'm not actually sitting next to an outlet in class, and there are multiple outlets in my class, if I'm not sitting next to an outlet, it can stretch. So that way, after I'm done with work, if my phone is almost dead, which it usually is, I'm able to charge it in class. Okay, so now I have a little pint-sized thing of deodorant. I don't know if you can see it, but I got it from Five Below. I don't know if it's backwards, but I found this at Five Below for like a dollar, and it's a spray-on deodorant. So if I'm, you know, working eight or nine hours a day, and then I have to drive through traffic an hour to class and sit in class for three hours, I just have this so that I can freshen up and it's really helpful. I love it because during the summertime, if I try to keep regular deodorant in my purse, it's gonna melt. So this is just a really nice alternative and it's literally like the size of my index finger and it's perfect. And it obviously fits in this big bag. So I have my glasses in my purse. I do need glasses to see from far away. Um, I sit in the front row of class just because I'm that person, but I have a hard time seeing the board from far away. They're a little bit foggy, but this is what I look like with glasses on. And I always keep it in my bag just in case I need it to see something on the board. Or I also like to use it when I'm on my laptop for long hours because for my job, I stare at a computer screen all day. And then when I go to class, I'm staring at my tablet, my laptop, and the board. So these glasses are just nice. I feel like it protects my eyes from straining too much and it is helpful. There's actually a compartment in here to keep my glasses, like a special compartment, but I just kind of dump everything in my purse. So next I have face mist. I actually have two. So I have two things of face mist. I have one from Mario Badescu and one from Pacifica. I think that this one is this one's vegan and cruelty free. I'm not vegan, but I like to use as many vegan products as possible, but I love that it's cruelty free. I'm not sure if Mario Badiscu is, it doesn't say it on the bottle, it is. So this is cruelty free. So I use face mist, I have naturally dry skin. Then next I have my wallet. Um, I don't need to open it up for you guys. It's just like my debit cards, my ID, my COVID card because I'm vaccinated. Um, and it is coach. I don't know if that means anything. I took it from my mom a few years ago and it's just simple and cute. So then of course I have women's products. I don't know if you could see. You all are like healthcare professionals. So this is not a big deal. But of course, if my period comes, I do have pads. Okay, so I also have hand sanitizer. In the last year, I've been using hand sanitizer more than I've used it in my entire life and the spray just is easier for me rather than like the traditional gel. So I have hand sanitizer in all of my purses, this one included. I have it in my car, I keep it in my office, and obviously it's just, I'm going all day, I need hand sanitizer. This one's from Bath & Body Works. It's their new vampire blood, it's seasonal, and it smells really good. I like it a lot. So I have just a random mask floating around, just a random surgical mask. I prefer to use the cloth masks look prettier, but I think that the surgical masks and the KN95 masks are more functional. So that's what I use most of the time. So I also have lotion from Lush. I don't love that it's a jar that I have to scoop into. I wish it was something that I could just squeeze out or um, use a pump, just with everything with COVID and germs. But I love Lush and I have really dry hands and this is a charity pot by Lush. And it smells like vanilla. It's pretty much almost all gone, but I love it. It keeps my hands moist and I only use it on my hands and my arms. I don't put it on my face. So I do have a couple of these little summer's eve things floating around. Ladies, you know what this is for. Um, it's just to freshen up or if I need it, especially when it's my time of the month. 
and it's just nice to have it in my bag because again i'm going 13 14 hour days without going home so it's nice to just go into the bathroom use these use my facial spray, use my lotion and just freshen up and it just helps me feel a little bit better since I can't stop at home before going to class. So of course I have a bunch of hair ties just floating around. This one's actually pretty big, but I just double knot it. So I have hair ties floating around in case I need to put my hair up during labs. Now I do actually have squirt out lotion. I think I have a couple because like I said, I have very dry skin. This one is the ginger ultra moisturizing cream from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you can see it. Trader Joe's is my favorite store. I love Trader Joe's and this is organic and just everything that Trader Joe's stands for. And then I also have this tiny little sampler lotion from Mary Kay. One of my coworkers does Mary Kay and she gave this to me as a sample to try it. It's the peach hand cream and it actually smells really good. And again, I have very dry hands, so I don't ever like to not be without lotion. So I usually have like three to four things of lotion in my bag at all times. Okay, so this is random and has nothing to do with school, but if I have time during the day in the morning or like right after class, if I have the energy, I'll go to the gym and I like to lift weights. So these are my weightlifting gloves. I don't go to Gold's Gym anymore, but these gloves are from Gold's Gym. And I like to do like heavy weights. My dog is here. She's trying to say hi. Say hi, Milo. Say hi. She wanted to be in the video. So but yeah, I like to lift like heavy weights, not the free weights, but like the, the well, free weights, but like the barbells. So this just protects my hands. Cause again, I have hard hands and I want them to stay soft and delicate. So I do use gloves to protect them. Of course I have lip balm. Usually I have like five to six things of lip balm in my bag, I'm not exaggerating, but I like to go in and clean them out just so that I'm not like having them float around too much. But of course I have my chapstick. It's the vanilla latte flavor. And again, it's nice because I have long days and I need to moisturize. And then at the very, very bottom of my bag is this long strap that the purse came with. So I can attach this onto the sides and wear it on my shoulders. Typically, I just use these straps because they're pretty sturdy. My bag actually gets really heavy because I carry everything in it, especially my laptop and my tablet can get pretty heavy. So far, the straps have been holding up. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and I love this bag. And I don't know if you can really see the inside, but this is the compartment for the laptop. This is the compartment for the charger, and you put them together, and then you can uh, use the Velcro to close it. And then there's the main part of the bag that I just dump everything in. There's like this zipper compartment. You can keep, I really should keep my wallet in there so that nobody like pickpockets me, but I don't. I usually just dump my wallet in. And then this is the side compartment for your tablet. And then you have a little pocket. This bag is really huge. And then you have little compartments. This is typically where I put like my lip liner, my, um, lip balm, my little lotions and everything. So yeah, this is the entire bag. If there's nothing in it, it can fold up so that it can be compact in your closet. And then at the bottom, there are these little nubby things so that your bag is never actually fully touching the floor. So that is what is in my bag for nursing school. Usually when I'm actually going to school, I'm actually going to school today, but I'm home today. But if I'm going straight from work to school, I will always pack dinner or a snack. Usually I'll pack like a chewy bar or a smoothie. I'll keep the smoothie in the refrigerator at work all day. And then usually on my way to school, I'll drink the smoothie or I'll just have, like I try to eat really healthy because I don't have the opportunity to just eat whatever. So since I can plan my meals ahead, I usually try to plan a smoothie or a sandwich. I'll keep it in the refrigerator at work all day. And then on my way out, I will grab it and put in my purse and either eat it right when I get to school or eat it on the hour long ride there. So that is everything in my bag. Hopefully you enjoyed this just cute, fun, quick video. If you have any questions for me, please comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.